Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, for so toyawa. You are the thrill of my heart, for so toyawa. From the bottom of my heart, for so toyawa. has brought Ongashas back to us this week with a whole lot lined up for you and your family. We have fitness and health, family and lifestyle talk, travel, a celebrity guest, and our cooking segment. And of course, we have our spice band to give you melodious tunes and heat up the place to make things all so amazing. So sit back and watch, you're in for a ride. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. You are watching Ongashes. And this week we were back at the gym again doing some workout routines. Let's see what we were up to. One, this leg, two, this leg, two, three, this on the fire. Woo. Okay, so two more sets to go, and this time we'll be starting with our right foot or feet. All right. So by now I know your your, your legs should be burning. You should all feel the the tense and the the tension. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay, I feel a bit of you know strain at the back of my my thighs, right at the back. Okay. Yeah. But it's yeah. not something not too difficult or too no, hard. No, no, no. It's, it's actually it's actually intense. But yeah. with time, it promises to get easier if you don't quit or if you don't stop. So on five. Well, how far apart are the legs? I mean, is it a large step or? Yeah, it's, it's advisable to take large steps. You, know? you okay. take large steps. So you don't want, you don't want to be doing this. Okay, you want to open up so you can sit properly and maintain a right form and the right posture. You don't want to do this at the same time. So you're supposed to sit you're supposed up. to sit down, come up, and sit back. Okay. All right? Let's, Let's get those fat tights and then burn some calories. Second set, starting with the right fit. I'm good to go. On three, two. All right, stand up. Let's go. Don't get tired now. Go. This way. One. Go. Two. Lovely. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, 
Five more to go. Five more. One, two, three, three. Two more to go. Four, one last one, and five. Take a break. Side squats for your lower body exercise. Please try understand that form is very important. Okay, if you're not getting the right form, take your time, take it slow, and try to learn before you go into the exercise fully. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I even though you're not smiling. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Huh? You know, it was good, it was good. Exercise is a mixture of fun and pain. No pain, no, no gain. You can see I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. But I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Yeah? Better and doing good. <laughs>
poor oral health. Yes, so I poor oral hygiene. That. I will oral remember hygiene. that. So I wanted to ask the, the, the color of the gums. Mm -hmm. What is healthy and what isn't? Because she said red gums. Yes, ideally the gums should be pink right. and not red. When they are too pink or too red, it shows that there may be an infection or something else going on there. So ideally gums should be pink, not red. Okay, so now that she mentioned having cracked lips, so it's not just an indication of um, dehydration, chap lips, you know, the weather. Mm -hmm. It's also an indication of bad oral health. Mm -hmm. It can be, and that's because you know, when they're cracked lips, it could signify an infection, it could signify some nutri nutrient deficiency. Oh. Yeah, and sometimes a lot of, there are a few nutrient deficiencies that start with the edges of the lips and part of the lips being cracked. Mm. So that's why she said it can also be a sign of poor oral health. I have heard of so many remedies uh, when you come and you start discussing toothaches. Oh yes, there's I've several heard of remedies. Swilling, you know, um, a cap full of kerosene in your mouth. Oh my goodness! I've heard of doing what? it with brine. I've kerosene. Heard of, yes, um, hey. there's uh, <laughs> something you put onto a little bit of cotton wool and you press down on the uh, infected tooth. Please, nobody should put kerosene in their mouth. Nobody should put kerosene in their mouth, especially for children. It can actually be fatal. If a child inhales the kerosene, it can destroy their lungs. But salt, I mean, good old salt, you can't go wrong with salt. Salt is the first and the most common antiseptic or antibacterial um, thing that you need. So just, I mean, if you have a toothache, salt is fine. And then see your dentist, as she said. Most of the time, some remedies can help at home, but anything beyond putting salt, you know, salt in warm water and gargling it, I think if that doesn't work, then just go and visit a dentist and have your teeth checked out because a lot of other things may cause more harm than good that's what i believe <laughs> thank you so much for that all right okay you heard our lovely dancing doctor don't swill kerosene in your mouth to ease a toothache mm. on gosh we'll be right back Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you are watching On Gashos. Today on Family Talk, we have Mr. Ayotunde Sani. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. Thank you. And he is going to be discussing what kind of house a new couple should be getting. He's an architect. <laughs> he is an architect. Mm. You're very welcome, sir. Thank it's you, nice to again. have you. Thank so you. let me just jump right in. Before we talk about housing designs, you have a new couple and they're planning to build a house. Mm -hmm. um, their first step should be a location. So what Not kind of location? Not necessarily. Yes. Do explain, please. The first step probably will be what's their budget. Budget. Aha. <laughs> That is very important. <laughs> because everybody wants to live in Ikori, but not everyone can afford it. Hmm. So you probably want to start with what's my budget, and then what can I get for that budget? For that budget. The proverbial cut your coats according, according to, to your size. Really? See, now that he just said everybody wants to live in Ikori, <laughs> and I'm, I'm actually thinking on my budget, where can I afford to live? Hmm. And he has a point. Very this much is so. Because we're putting uh, the focus now is for new couples. Yes. They're starting out. Exactly. Yep. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we get budget. So, what's the next step? Then you now look at the location. Then you look Locations. at the location. Yes. Right. And then what happens next? Location will depend, for me, for, I mean, when I was looking, we had to think of a couple of things that would affect the family. For example, where is your office? Mm. Okay. If you are traveling, like most people do in Lagos, two hours to get to work, two hours to come back. Yeah, right. So I'm going to help you. Mm. So as much as possible, you should look at 
living somewhere close to your office, close to your children's school. You know, you need to consider those things and pick in a location for your house. Okay, so budget, location, mm -hmm. proximity. Proximity. Right. Good. Okay. So we want to ask about newlyweds. Yes. Um, not just where they live, the location, but the design. Yes. You know, what kind of housing design should they be looking at? Okay. And what are the things they should keep in mind when designing both the interior, I mean, with the interior um, aspect of mm -hmm. their home? Mm -hmm. Are there any specific things that they should actually look out for? Well, um, I, would, I would start by saying that I think the, the design should, first of all, be a matter of your lifestyle. Okay. Um, you want to set the house, you want to design your house. How do you want to live in that house? Are you the kind of people that um, spend a lot of time listening to music, for example, or hosting people? Or do you use the dining table? So there, are some people, there are a lot of homes that the dining table is almost like a decoration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people don't use it, it's just there. So if you are not really the kind of people that use that, you don't need a dining table, mm. except you're going to host people there. Um, do you need, you need a study? In my house, we have a study. We always designate a place as a study, separate from anywhere else in the house. So I would look for those things if it was me in the house. I would like to incorporate some of those things. Do you entertain a lot? In which case, you might want a garden so that you have outdoor um, area. Right. Do you do barbecues? Mm -hmm. You need to also think of those kind of things. So it's a, it's a lifestyle thing that drives the kind of house okay. that you So your want. lifestyle will determine yes. the design of your house, yes, even would. as newlyweds. Yes. Okay. What about um, long-lasting plans? Most times okay. when people get married, yes. they're probably going to start out renting an yes. accommodation yes. or housing. But in the long term, they would want to build their own home mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. So what do they look out for? I okay. mean, with their long lasting or what some people call their forever home, okay. so to speak. <laughs> Actually, I would answer you, but again, I would like to bring up something here. Um, I think those times are changing where you build one house and you want to stay in it till the day you die, literally. Mm. Why? Because nowadays, your children, you don't know if they're even going to live with you. So you want to look at a house, maybe you're planning as a newlywed, if it's a newlywed, they're going to stay in this house for the next 15 years. Our children will go to boarding, go to university, and after that, we don't need a four-bedroom house anymore. We need a two-bedroom house or a smaller unit. So it might be that you're planning to build in phases. So when you build that and you've grown older, your children have left home, then you might want to sell it and move to a two-bedroom house. Oh. Because you want to save on cost. You can't be maintaining. Somebody yesterday was just convinced me he has a six-bedroom house mm. and he has only one child at home. Yeah. Mm. So he's maintaining a six-bedroom house when he doesn't really need to. So he's mm. thinking, I think I should sell this house and move to a two-bed. Okay. But if you're not thinking of what you need to design your house, again, it comes to your lifestyle. Are we going to have grandma staying? So we need an extra room. Is our maid going to stay in? Are we going to have a maid? Then you need a maid's room. Are we going to entertain people large entertainment? So you need a dining table that can sit maybe 12 rather than 4. Right. So those kind of things will drive the, the sizes of your room, the design, the flow, okay. and all that. I know some people love cooking, so they've always exactly. said they want a, a large, large kitchen. kitchen. That's my wife for you. <laughs> So, at the end of the day, it's very um, specific to the person, yes. their personality, yes. and their, yes. you know, their do's and don'ts, exactly. what they like and what they don't mm -hmm. like, and their future plans, yes. essentially. Yes. You know, you mentioned if you don't need the dining table, don't bother <laughs> buying it. And as he was saying that, I realized that the dining table in my house mm -hmm. is multi-purpose. Okay. Mine we eat well. on it. We do, yes, the homework on it, the projects on it. I know we've molded clay to do an art yep. project with my kids yeah. on it. My and it's wood. Yes. At some so, point, I think we had a printer on, our on, dining, on the dining uh -huh. table. It's also so the workstation. Yeah, so it's wow. a workstation. So it's a multi-use space. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. We have a multiple. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you found that useful. A round of applause for architect Ayomi. Wow. We thank you so much for gracing the Ongasha much. studio today. Thank you very much. It was thank a you. There you have it. So many things surround a new couple having a new home. There's budget, there's proximity, there's location. What else did our honorable architect say? <laughs> their personality, their lifestyle, yes, their lifestyle, their preferences. And preferences. Mm -hmm. Think about it before you jump into something you cannot afford to maintain in the long run. Ongashos will be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. And if you're just tuning in, you are watching Ongashas. It's time for our favorite part of the show where we get to meet our guest cook for the week. Let's welcome her. Her name is Mrs. Aisha Praise. Thank you so much. Good to have you. Mrs. Aisha, we are really happy to have you here today because yeah. when we have our guest cook, it means that food is on the way. <laughs> I'm sure, sure. So, yeah. can we know more about you, Mrs. Aisha? Okay, um, Aisha Praise, like I've uh, earlier said earlier, I'm a beautician. Oh, nice. I'm actually a cook too. Wow. Uh, I run a little beauty parlor somewhere around. Uh, good to have me here. <laughs> <laughs> good to have me here. I love that combination because Thank I you. always tell people that the, f the beauty starts from within. Sure, so sure. So the key to being beautiful is by eating right. Exactly, eating well. you're That's there. That's the first, exactly. the first thing to do. Not by what you put on your skin, but what you put in your body. So exactly. You probably, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you probably heard that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a trip, isn't it? To where you are from. Well, not but before. not yet. Yes. So we won't reveal where she's from yet until we see where we're going to this week. But I've always wanted to ask this question. Yes. Most people that have come to grace our Angasha studio have always said, along with cooking, they also do this and that and that. And I always bring them back to the cooking. Is it at the forefront of everything or is it a hobby? Uh... <sighs> I have an opportunity to visit some parts of the country. With that, I, the first thing I, 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 want, I always go, get to is their delicacies. And each time I'm there, I'm not this kind of person, okay, just serve me rice, I don't eat what is here, no. I try to eat anything I'm being served. And after that, most times I'm like, okay, how is this prepared? Like I always say, I, my mom said, everything goes for me. Yes, everything actually goes. <laughs> Not because I want it to go, but sometimes I would want to know the taste and then learn how to how cook to it. Cook it. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a hobby initially. And then sometimes I just said, okay, why not just go into this and see if you can make some cash for yourself? So that's just it. And are you making cash? Oh, sure. Yeah. sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so on this show, you're not actually cooking for just both of us. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you have, we have an extra person, a special person, who is the reason why you're actually here to cook. And you're going to, and that person is also going to be cooking along with you okay. in the kitchen. And so let's welcome our celebrity guest for the week. This year, 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 this
to have you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and this is Mrs. Aisha. I don't know if you've met. Oh, you don't want to this? Yeah. <laughs> don't let the cat out. Oh, that's my sister. Yes. We're from yes. the same Thank state. You. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, we okay. So you're keep... claiming her now. No. Yeah. She's going to cook. Naturally. No, no. Naturally <laughs> when we see ourselves. You we just will. need to hug your, yeah, sure. you know. That's just how it's supposed to be when you're from the same state, regardless of where you're from. And that's it's for like I'm claiming you as from today. Yeah, I come from. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see you <laughs> hug. Yeah, you're, you don't need to be, but then, you know, you So if we're not from your state, you won't hug us. Oh. Uh, it's <laughs> out of my home. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sound people. <laughs> okay, so we didn't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. From where that place you're from is exactly. So People our Ongashos team took a trip around the country and stopped somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we have a brief history about it. If you'd like to take a look at this screen. Lokoja is famously referred to as the confused town that lay where the Niger and the Benue River merge. Lokoja is the present day state capital of Kogu State. The indigenous ethnic group that makes up Lokoja are the Bazangi, Yoruba, Ngala, and Nibira people. Though the city is populated by people from various ethnic groups across the country. We are Yorubas, and we hail from Ilife. And our Oba, when there is a meeting, we go there. And we also produce a lot of cardinals, bishops, and Kawa, and reverend sisters. After the amalgamation of the southern and northern Nigeria in 1914, the new nation of Nigeria was governed from Lokoja by the first Governor General of Nigeria, Sir Frederick Luga. Lokoja is home to several institutions like Federal University in Lokoja, Salem University, and a teaching hospital. Lokoja has several markets that provide platform for trade and commerce but also serve as a repository of different foods and ingredients which make up the cuisine of the local Jap people. The kabas, they like the goosey soup and pounded yam, most especially adu, which is made with beans and grounded maize. You can spend maybe three or four years and still be eating it. Adu is a very, very good food that I believe anybody can just easily like. It has low pepper, not much pepper. You will have it as a student, even in the office, you use it, you can eat it and you drink water. They have itowo, that one is just like in different places, like the way we love eating chinchi. The sweetness of Kaba cuisine appears to be the resplendent and beautiful scenery of Nokuda, the confused town. That was insightful. <laughs> it was. I learned quite a lot. Like when they spoke about the northern and southern parts of Nigeria being amalgamated and ruled from Lokoja. I, I never knew that. No. We, we're always learning on Ogashas. Lokoja is our capital. Right. So um, we're all the same anyway. Sure. So uh, I speak more of Ibira. Mm -hmm. 
And um, what other languages are spoken in the yes. state? Oh, okay. Igbaraba Sangi, uh, Okunwa language you okay. speak is okay. That's your Hava. Igala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have we have a little mix up of uh, uh, Edo. Yes. Mixed and up with Ibo, a little Enobu. Igbo. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yes. We have mix up of that too. And a little bit of Benue, just mm. in between. And then of course Abuja. Yeah. Which is Gwari. Exactly. God, they, 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 they're a fount of knowledge right here. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I was hoping you would come with some fish. I've been seeing pictures of water. They didn't bring no fish. fish. Oh. Will there be fish in that Nogashos kitchen? Ah, oh, because that's what we're known for. <laughs> fish. Okay, yeah. Halima, I know we need to rush you off into the kitchen, but um, I want to ask before you go, what got you into acting? The love for it. I started acting at the age of 13. 13? Wow. Yes. Wow. So I've been in Nollywood, you know, all my life. I, it's just the love for it at that age. I think it's just the, I don't, I didn't even think about the money. I just wanted to act. And I did act it, so, you know, free roles since money wasn't what I was. But I wanted the money still though. <laughs> but at that period, I was doing free jobs at 13. Wow. Yes. And you're still acting up till date. I'm a producer now. Oh. oh awesome. Yeah, award-winning producer. <laughs> award-winning producer. Thank wow. you. And what projects have you produced so far? Oh, a lot. I have um, Blood Battle, which is um, my most recent. No, the, I premiered that one before my most one. I have a series that's going to come out soon. I've done The Mistresses, uh, See Before Fire, uh, King of Sorrow, uh, Tears of the Wicked. She knows them all of Okay, I wish I could come with you to the kitchen because I want to keep staring at you until we're done. But unfortunately, I have another job today. But Aisha is here to cook for you and she will kindly let Falake and I partake. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so and with the wine, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead. We will have a quick break while Falake, Aisha and Halima situate themselves in the Ongashos kitchen. Ongashos will be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. back to Ongashes. Right now we are in the Ongashes kitchen and we're about to make a delicious Ongashes meal from Lokoja and it's called Afiame soup. Am I right? Yeah, Did I it's pronounce called it properly? Afiame okay. by the uh, part of the Ibasange that dominates the Lokoja and it's called Oboewa in Igala, where I am from. Right. And it's called Epeza, uh -huh. from the part that I am from. Oh okay. my goodness, so it has different names. <laughs> oh, yeah. What yeah. is the main ingredient of this it's particular actually dish? It's bean soup. So let's run through the right. ingredients. We have everything out here. You, as here, you can see. as you can see, this is my powdered beans. Okay. It's here. So this is my fish, my smoked fish. Okay. And I'm going to be using iru. You know, iru is not peculiar to the Yorubas only. We yes, all we use have iru. It everywhere. Yeah. Brings out the taste and food. Yeah, sure. Yes. And my onion. Do you Just have a name for iru? Because we know we in, call in the north it's the dawa. The no, dawa. Mine yes. is okwehe. 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 Okay. <laughs> Ours Everybody is one. 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 Wow. one. I don't think I'll remember all the names <laughs> we have. I'll write it down for this you. Is Oziza. Some people use uh, this Negro pepper, Uda. That's what they use, but from this part, we are actually using Oziza. So that's Oziza Yeah, seed. this is my Oziza seed. Okay. And that's my scotch. And I can see we have Burnet peppers. Burnet peppers. Right, um, and onions. Yeah, my fish, of course. Smoked dry fish. The local dry fish. Dry fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. And my beef. Right. Okay, so and let's... Then, mm, the let's get right into action. What is the first step in the preparation of this? Yeah, the first step is you wash your meats as usual. 
So we start with the meat by boiling. Step one. So that's waiting for the meat. Oh, you wash if you're boiling um, that, okay. I think I should cut the onions. Yeah, help okay. the onions. Just leaf so cut up the onions and also what leaf is this in particular? This is actually scent leaf. Okay. You're using scent, scent leaf? Afiri. Afiri. Yeah. right. Yeah, wow. in the Ongasha's kitchen we are very much about hygiene. So I think if we're wearing any bangles or anything, except of course our wedding ring, you can just take them off. <laughs> Let me keep it for you. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Why scent leaf? Why not yeah. ugu or vegetable? Yeah, you can actually use your ugu, you can use your uh, 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 four, you what can you use mean? any kind of leaf you're okay with. But the scent leaf has this peculiar scent, like as it's called, and um, it's medicinal, it's highly medicinal, it's good for the tummy. So most times I prefer using the scent leaf. Okay. We are into farming a lot in Kogi State. Yes. We have lots the fish. of fish. We have all kinds of fish. The ones we don't have in Lagos here, when you go to Kogi, Lokaja, specifically, you have them. All okay. right. The so we have our yeah. meat the right there boiling. Uh, that's the meat. And the onions. Good Okay. Yeah. Of course, the seasoning we have. Yeah. So which one are you going to use? I'm going to be using this. The Onga Classic. Onga Classic, yeah. And this portion that we're making is for about four people, right? Yeah, sure. That pepper is still okay. okay. Mm. It is not much. All right. So we can dump it down with the pepper. Yeah. Awesome. So you wash I'll, all your I'll ingredients, the meat, the fish. adding the, the fish. Onga cubes to so, it. Okay. Too. Okay. So I'm learning how to make afiame. So we allow the meat to cook. This how do you process the, the beans mm -hmm. powder? What yeah, do do like I it? said, we have different methods. Okay. This is actually a pure beans without any other thing, cleaned and then grinded into powder. Right. But there's this other method where you could wash the beans like you want to prepare moe moe and then start cooking it. And then as you keep cooking, it gets tender. That is when you add your meat and whatever. I will tell you at some point when you will be adding the beans. That's when you add all the that's, other ingredients. Okay, that's a different this other method. One that gives a perfect taste and aroma too as well. The roasted beans. So we have our meat boiling. We've cut up our scent leaves. We're washing our fish, and we're about to wash the peppers. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we're step one. We haven't spoken about the nutritional benefits of this food. If you can give us a few pointers. I see we have and quite we have an array. And we have fiber in it. There's a lot of fiber. Yes. In the leaves and in the, leaves, and in so the beans. And it's, it's proteinous. proteinous. Yes, protein. Yes, Very so important. we have a lot of protein fish and beans. Protein is the major uh, components of the soup. That's good. Mm. So it complements whatever carbohydrate. And you can eat it yeah, every it. day, every day. You so can eat it every day. Yeah, every some day. Some people eat that the traditional. You, you can even eat it not even only with the swallow. You can eat it with rice. Wow. You can eat it with our masa. You can eat it with anything you want to eat it with, even with bread. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so it's a very versatile yeah. food. Sure. And nutritious as well. Mm. Awesome. All right. I need to check whether the, the meat, meat is tender enough. It smells quite nice already. <laughs> Courtesy of Onga Classic. Yes, the Onga Classic spice is yeah. really bringing it. Lovely. Mm. Thank you. So let's see what's happening in the audience with Umi. Hi, Umi. I was starting to be certain that you had forgotten about me while oh, you were enjoying the How alone. could I forget about you? I mean, but it's been so exciting down here in the okay. kitchen. And, you know, there's so much to do. So we're trying to get everything done so we can have food as fast as possible. Indeed. And I can see the ladies are so capable around the kitchen. We've been watching uh, Miss Halima over there and she seems so capable. They're both pros. I mean, they're both pros in the I love kitchen. cooking. So I wanted to chicken. ask, uh, what is hurry up in your language, Halima? Oh, meh. Meh? Meh? Me. 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 That is so short. <laughs> Me. Hang on. Me. Hang on. 
On the count of three, audience, I need you to say it to them in the kitchen. One, two, three. So we have a member of the audience over here that has a question. I love cooking as well, so I try my, my hands in the kitchen sometimes. So Alima, I didn't know you could cook, you know. I'm surprised you're over there doing a lot of stuff. I love cooking. All right, great. So um, I wanted to ask, I, I realize the beans you're using is like a thickener for the soup you're making. Yeah. So I wanted to know if you could use something else because I would like to try this recipe at home. Um, mm -hmm. This is a bean soup, so you can only use beans. Okay, but so it depends beans on soup. how you want the beans, either this way or um, the seed. You don't need to blend it, you can boil it, which is like beggary in Yoruba. Yes, but in Kogi State, this is how we make it. So there's no other way to make it than oh, this. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, Interesting. Polake, Aisha, Halima. <laughs> okay, they want us to hurry up. So where are we now? Yeah. We have our meats, we have I'll our fish. I'll be adding my You peppers. added the fish into here, right? Yeah, the, 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 the dried, dried fish, fish, yeah. And we're adding the pepper now. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Mm. Great, 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 great. This has the uziza seed, right? Yeah. Which we blended a little bit. Yeah. I like this for me so that I can just okay, so you need another pot yeah. ready for this. Yeah, so, it. when we come back, we're going to continue showing you how to make afiame. It's been amazing so far, and I can't wait Vegetable. to Thank have you. a taste of this meal. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. We're making our fiamme and Aisha is showing us how to roast the beans powder so that it has an extra flavor. Yeah. So she just put it in the pot, put fire underneath it. And, and a little bit brown. And browning it a bit. So right here in our pot, we have the fish, we have the meat, we have the uziza, of course we have our onga spice, and we're boiling everything up. And of course the pepper, right? So next is the beans. Yeah. Not to make a paste oh of the beans, isn't it? Yeah, sure. And then we'll begin to add that. Mm -hmm. So Halima, mm -hmm. I know that you're a lover of music because mm -hmm. most people in the arts, you know, find themselves in music, in drama, in dance. And I want to ask if you have a particular type or genre music. of music that you really like. In recent times. Yes. I like what we are doing in the entertainment industry in Nigeria. I love the music they're churning out and I'm proud of them. So, Nigerian music. That's awesome. So, <laughs> yes. pick a song. You know, we have an amazing band here, the Spice Band, and they can do anything. You name the genre, they can play for you. Oh, Fever by Wizkid. Fever. Spice Band, can you give us Fever? <laughs>
We're about no, to add the beans the paste the beans. and the and the smoked fish and the leaves. So that's what's left, right, Aisha? We have all our ingredients in here. We've oh, added the meat, the fish, yes. the pepper, the iru, so I'm going to be and the, the uziza. uziza. So we're yeah. going to be adding the beans paste now. No, the, the leaves are going to be the last. Yes, the leaves are the yeah. last. The leaves are usually last. Yeah. So after you adding, make it into a paste, mm, you add it bits by bit bits. By bits. As you can see, it's even thickening already. Already, wow. So I would need to this add This looks it very bits. rich. Very, very rich. It in is. Bits. Rich in protein, low in fat, mm. rich in, in fiber. And about how much of oil did you use? I, I noticed you used just a little bit uh, of oil. You know, because I'm... Uh, maybe because I'm used to it, yes. I, could, I didn't measure. measure. But, but if we're should... going to measure, like about how much do you like, estimate for this amount? Would you that use? could be uh, a large soup, uh, one large sp soup, soup spoon, spoon mm. which is about three tablespoons. Yes. Okay. I'm done with this. Okay, so you don't need yeah, to put everything. So you no, wait until no, no, a particular no, no. consistency. As you can see, so it's not meant to be we too thick. We could even add water. No. You know, yeah. Okay. So we've yes. added our beans paste to it mm. and. We leave that to and simmer for a while. Well. Mm. Do you usually close it mm. or we don't usually we do. cover it? We cover all at yes. this point. Yes. Oh, that tastes nice. I mean, we have different method of method cooking. Of it. Mm. You, you know, if, if you're to okay. make that with uh, the washed beans from my place, you don't cover. Okay. The reason okay. is because it it's going to bubble up. Yes. Mm. But for this, you can cover. For this, you can cover. Right. For this, you can cover. But so we're adding. You just open mm. it yeah. So yeah. what's yeah. next to put in the pot? Oh, the my fish. crayfish. Crayfish? You know, I want this. You wanted it to be mm -hmm. close to the end because yeah, the, the so smell and, you know, it helped, it enhances the smell Everything. of the Everything. Right. So we're, we're almost done, pretty much. It's almost done, right? Just two spoons. It's what's okay. next? The fish and the scent leaf, that's all. Fish and scent leaf, and we're done. And our yeah. food is ready. Mm. Hey. Very <laughs> simple and easy. It is very simple to make. It is, actually. Yes. <laughs> Mer, see, they're <laughs> saying Mer. OK. Mer. So we're adding oh, oh. fish. Oh, oh, oh. And we're adding our scent leaf last, mm. right? Just two minutes. So we're basically two done anyway. So, so we're actually done with our soup. We've put in all the ingredients. We made the, bean, the beans into a paste and added it into the pot of the meat and the pepper and the iru. And now she's adding the fish. Yeah. And then lastly, we'll be adding the scent the leaf. leaf. That's all. I'm sure the scent leaf will give it an extra oh, yeah. tangy extra. taste. Okay, Amazing. I really cannot wait to eat this food and I think it's ready. I hope you've learned how to make afiyame soup and I think you should be able to try your hands on it, try at home and see how it goes. Very easy. And let us know. Yes, it's very easy. If you follow the steps that we've shown to you, you can make afiyame soup all by yourself at home. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. You're still watching on Gashos and we are at the dining table. If you're just tuning in, you've missed so much. <laughs> we have. Halima, how was your time in the Ongashos kitchen? Amazing. And actually, you know, learning how to cook in our own way is a different uh, ball game altogether. So it's insightful. And so is this something you do every day? You cook for yourself? Yeah. I'm thinking a celeb of your status. No, I don't eat outside. Interesting. Really? Yes. Uh, one time I was ill, so after I bounced back, I decided to eat healthy because, uh, you know, I realized eating healthy is the way of life. So everyone should eat as much vegetable, as much fruits, drink as much water, and mind your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, that keeps you away from stress. I'm telling you. So Aisha, I noticed you were giving uh, Halima a crash course on the various list of onga seasoning that we have. 
Yeah, I actually used the Unger Classic. Okay. For uh, steaming the meats. Okay, okay. That was what I used with just a cube of Unger, Unger cube, right? Mm. And then which other seasoning did you use? No, that's all I used. Really? And it came out like this? Yes, just one one each. You don't need much. You don't need much of There's it. There's something, it. something we say in this our Ongashos kitchen. When a food is so good, what do we call it? It is Ongashos. <laughs> it is. Oh, a round of applause for our food. That's it on Ongashos today. I would like to say a very special thank you to our enthusiastic audience and the Spice Band. A round of applause for yourself. A very, very special thank you goes out to Aisha Praise for cooking this meal. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Aisha. A round of applause thank for you. her team. Not least, a very special thank you to Halima Abubakar who assisted in the kitchen sure, and was such a much. good sport. Mm. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Don't forget to join us same time next week, same channel for your favorite lifestyle magazine show for the whole family on Gash. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Our Instagram handle is Onga underscore Nigeria and Facebook and Twitter Onga Nigeria. You can follow the hashtag Ongashus as well. You can post your recipes, post what you've made at home, tag us in it and tell us that this is my Ongashus recipe. For all of us in the Ongashus studio, we say bye bye. Yeah. That's for you. Yeah. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> For their own time, I said the romance in Now only days you don't say the romance in Say now one celebrate the romance in Say from picking the promo, the romance in Everybody pull up, mama 